cell cycle uh, get a template that you will make a circle for the cycle and use it cell cycle is an ordered sequence of events in a life of a cell it contains two phases one is a small and short period of time in the cell cycle in the cells cycle so the big part of the cycle is the first phase that is called the interphase between cell divisions this will be the first phase and the other one is the mitotic phase this is a shorter period of time in the life of a cell the interface what happens in here this is the long uh, longer phase and happens between cell divisions during that activity the cell grows grows and does its activities the interface is divided up into three phases the g1 phase this is the first gap phase and what is really happening in here growth and activity for the cell to do its job the other one is protein production making proteins making the enzyme hormones signaling uh, molecules all of the what we covered with the protein uh, the importance of the proteins organelle production like making more mitochondrion or endoplasmic reticulum so the g1 phase is the first gap between cell division and dna replication the s phase is the second one the s stands for synthesis and the dna the genetic material gets duplicated during that phase the border between g1 phase and s phase is stopped by a stop sign virtual stop sign but really the cell needs to answer those uh, questions like is the cell big enough to go into cell dna synthesis and eventually to cell division is the cell division necessary for the cell are cell growth factors present as well as is there enough nutrients in the surroundings for the cell in order to divide so if the questions are yes for all of those four questions the cell will start to produce uh, proteins for dna replication for example dna polymerase they are going to make to do this uh, dna du duplication so with the help of those uh, that protein and those several proteins well the cell can go from the g1 phase can proceed into the s phase on the other hand if one of the questions are not answered as yes the cell will stay in the g1 phase the first gap or it will go into a different stage the g0 stage that means it will do its job and will not divide these cells are muscle cells nerve cells and liver cells cells for example they usually don't divide for for several years for the nerve cells for our entire lives they would not divide the third phase in the interface is the g2 phase this is the second gap 
between replication of the DNA or duplication of the DNA to cell division. During that phase, the cell is duplicating its centrosomes, the animal cells, because they are important for cell division. These are the anchors and the, the anchors that we will just uh, spread out their uh, spindle fibers. They will still do their daily activities and their growth, as well as they duplicate the organelles uh, now because the cell needs to divide the amount of organelles between the two cells. So it's really important to have enough organelles for both of the cells later on. Here's another stop, stop, stop sign before the cell enters the mitotic phase. And the questions what the cell needs to answer is, did the DNA replicate correctly? So there's no mutation would present uh, in the DNA synthesis. And is the cell really big, large enough for uh, division? If those answers are answered yes, the answer is yes for both of the questions, the histones get activated in the around the chromatins and the chromatin starts to coil up and starts to condense to form a chrom uh, to form chromosomes the mitotic phase is divided up into two phases uh, two uh, parts mitosis and cytokinesis i'm so sorry that i didn't move the paper so here in the beginning of mitosis kind of beginning during metaphase there is a stop sign where the check where the cell checks whether the spindle fibers are attached to the chromosomes, to the sister chromatids, and will they be able to pull them apart evenly? If the answer is yes for that question, the cohesin, a protein, breaks down and uh, the separase enzyme gets activated to separate the sister chromatids from each other. We will learn about that in, during mitosis and meiosis. But they will get separated, the sister chromatids. And they will go to the opposite end of the cell. And after the mitosis is finished, the cell will enter into the cytokinesis stage that in the animals cleavage furrow will form and in plant cells the cell plate will form so they are how they are different in cytokinesis the way they perform it the takeaway from the cell cycle is besides all of them that the stop sign in a cell's uh, life is the default command Cancer cells do not obey the stop signs. They do not stop even the answer is no for the questions.